When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. I'm happy to see you. I missed you. It's been a while. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened in a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed, in a sort of trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My god. I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. This... murder? I exactly how did it happen? Well, after work last night, I stopped at a little diner to get something to eat. I read a book at my table, I think. And after, it's just a black hole. I don't remember anything. Right up until I found myself in the toilets with a knife in my hand. It, it, was, it was horrible. And there's this, too. You cut your wrists? Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. You say that you were in a sort of a trance. But what do you mean by that? Are you talking about magic? Or sorcery? Or something like that? Marcus, I don't have an explanation. I'm just telling you what happened, that's all. I'm only certain about one thing. I'm not the one who really killed that man. Were there any witnesses? Did anyone see you? Probably. I got out of the restaurant as best I could. The police still haven't identified me, apparently, but it probably won't take them too long to track me down. While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or, or rather someone. Was somebody else there with you? No, it was, it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles. And, and there was this little girl. You saw a little girl? She seemed alone, lost. She, she asked me to help her. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Listen, Lucas, I... I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. Maybe you need some professional help. Most cases of possession are known to actually stem from psychiatric problems and... Marcus, I don't have a psychiatric problem. I'm not crazy. I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. All these years and nothing's changed. You still never listen to me. Lucas... Don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. Here. You need this more than I do. Marcus, you know that I don't believe in all that. Thanks.
That kid. He's gonna slip on the ice. I've gotta stop him. The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I gonna do? Lost consciousness. Quick, I've got to go back up before I run out of air. It's not too late. One, two, three. 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 Patrol 324, kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what courage. The kid would have died. That guy's a hero. He dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. The cop recognized me. We both knew it. It's hard to say why he didn't turn me in. Maybe he decided I was even. I had taken a life and given one back. Nothing really changed for me. I was still wanted for murder by the police. But when I left that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing.